in the name of Allah the most gracious most merciful thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success we are a partner please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert a challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories these success stories can be monetized into value addition thank you very much for your precious time today i'm going to discuss lecture number six we are still working on define phase six sigma lean management model so before my lecture i used to read a chronic verse rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassarli amri wa halalu uqdatam min lisani yakfu qawli rabbi zidni ilma now i'm going to run my complete a tale lecture number six okay lecture number six six sigma define phase we are still working on a define phase here so what we are going to discuss lecture number six analyze improve implement and control mechanisms before we will discuss a key takeaway points just want to recap what we have discussed lecture number one two three four and five first we have discussed six sigma method six sigma principles lean and demac define meyer analyze improve and control mechanism and lean history we have also discussed history of six sigma six sigma strategy conventional strategy and six sigma criticals we have also discussed how to resolve a problem or problem solving strategy then we also discussed voice of customer so on lecture number four and five we have a discuss introduction to dmac define opportunities measure a performance analyze opportunity improve performance and control mechanisms okay today we are going to work on define a framework and its op operational strategy so on my next slide i'm going to give you a highlights on define phase strategy key take away points lecture number 6 the process of define we will discuss first and then we will discuss a key deliverables okay team based a role and responsibilities each member lean six sigma roles and responsibility the executive the participants or practitioners who will work into lean six sigma their role and responsibilities okay okay first we will give a highlights on dmac and a process improvement a road map what is basically define measure analyze improve control mechanism and process improvement map if you will start from left to right a first is define opportunities so what is important basically in the first phase then second a measure performance and how are we doing number 3 analyze opportunities what is wrong we are doing and number 4 improve performance and what needs to be done and number 5th and last control performance or sustainability how do we guarantee a performance that is sustain or it will deliver the required results that is how this road map demonstrate define may analyze improve control mechanism or integrate to each other to, in order to deliver the required results okay now today now we are going to discuss here define opportunities so i will focus on the first is define opportunity here first we will demonstrate what is the objective basically 
to identify and or validate the improvement opportunities, develop the business processes, define a critical customer requirement that is also known as CCR and prepare themselves to be an effective project team. That is the first as objective. Second here is a what main activity is supposed to do in define phase. First thing, validate, identify a business opportunities. Number two, validate, develop a team charter. Identify map process and processes. Identify quick win and refine process. Translate voice of customer, VOC into CCR, customer critical requirement. And last year, develop a team garden and ground rules. Okay. Then potential tools and technique what we can develop here. As you can first the team charter, business case, opportunity statement, goal statement, project scope, project plan and team selection process. Then action plan, what are the tasks, activities, responsibilities, start date and due date and action etc. Then project focus area. You can also mention what is the CCR, the customer requirement, where we are and how much it would cost. And then we will also demonstrate the workflow or implementation improvement process. And then we can also demonstrate where is the gap as far as the Six Sigma is concerned as demonstrated here into the different segments. Okay, now in the last slide, what would be the key deliverables here? First a team charters, set up an action plan, process maps, quick win, opportunities, critical customers requirement, prepare a team. So that is a key deliverable as per the defined opportunity or concern. Okay, on the next slide we are going to discuss measure of performance. Okay, now we are going to discuss the process of define. What is basically process of define? How to set up the framework? So first we need to understand the business issue. What is the issue related to business improvement? And the second phase, identify a business improvement opportunities. What are the, how the existing business are performing and what are the area for the improvement? So we need to identify the gap. Then we will define and validate customer requirements. Why we need to improve the business. First, identify business improvement gap. Then of define and validate customer requirement. It's also called the CCR, critical customer requirements. Why we need to improve. Then draft our team, charter, mean TORs, terms of reference for business improvement. And number four of former team expertise with all disciplines or holders who can improve the business, who know the business, how know, and then document and map the process, business process. And after that, you will enter into major phase. That is phase from, from business issues. First, identify the business improvement opportunities, define and valid customer requirement, draft a team charter, TORs, terms of reference, how to prove, how to implement, how to do it, what are the area, then t form the team, document and map the process and processes for improvement, and then enter into major phase. Okay, key deliverable into define phase. So, as we have discussed earlier, uh, in the process of defines how to improve the business issues identify a business improvement opportunity define validate customer requirement draft team charter form the team document and map the process and intent to major phase no key deliverable for the define phase first we need to set up a team charter so what are the charter what is the barrier or what is the guideline we need to set up then number two action plan high level of project plan with milestones, process mapping, quick win opportunities, critical customer requirement, a prepared a team, charter a benefit analysis, primary metrics, a secondary lean opportunities, 
stakeholder analysis issues and barriers that is lost so these are deliverables we need to understand and to validate it in order to enter into the next phase okay now okay now we're going to discuss team based roles and responsibilities okay what would be the team based roles so on the team based roles here the six sigma is a team based approach to problem solving with clearly defined roles for stakeholder and participants in six sigma so number one a sponsor we need to understand the sponsor champions stakeholders team members of full time and part time participants six sigma black belt and green belt six sigma master black belt and mentors so six sigma practitioner may serve in their roles in full time or part time capacities so that is seven roles has been defined as far as the team based roles are concerns okay now we are going to discuss next the lean six sigma roles and responsibilities if you can see here the lean six sigma role and responsibilities there are many roles and responsibility for successful implementation of lean six sigma okay first is called the mbb executive leadership sponsors number 1 number 2 a black belts champions and process owners then green belt and yellow belt black belt green belt and yellow belts these are are different uh, categories who will participate participate in order to deliver the result as defined as we discussed my, in my earlier slide okay now this was the lean six sigma roles and responsibilities when they will be a part of our team charter okay now we are going to discuss next phase of lean six sigma role and responsibilities so what would be the executive leadership or sponsor roles and responsibilities not all six sigma deployments are driven from the top by executive leadership number 1 number 2 however those deployment that are driven by executive management are much more successful than those that are not driven by them what they can do first are make decisions what is basically make decision to implement the six sigma initiatives and development accountability method number 2 set a meaning of full goals set a meaningful goals and objective for the corporation number 3 here set a performing expectation set performing expectation for the corporations number 4 here ensure a continuous improvement ensures continuous improvement in the process and last not least eliminate a barriers that is how the executive leadership or sponsor deliver their roles and responsibility as far as six sigma is concerned as a conclusion today we have discussed first of uh, the process of define phase then number 2 we have discussed define phase key deliverables we have also discussed a team based roles a number for a lean six sigma role and responsibilities so executive leadership sponsor champion process owner master black belt these are we are going to discuss in later stage on my next slide here we are going to discuss in my next topic lean six sigma practitioner roles and responsibilities executive leadership and sponsor roles champion a process owner master black belt black belt a green belt a yellow belt so these all a six practitioner we are going to discuss in my next lecture thank you very much for your precious time to make everything a possible thank you very much and stay blessed please do not hesitate send me your feedback and comments 
t.masood.dr@bot.edu thank you very much for your precious time to make this channel a grand success so please stay at home stay safe inspired and blessed thank you very much again for your precious time